All right, I thought I would bring you guys for a shop with me into Walmart. We just gotta grab some things since being back. First stop, I need to get some croissants. If y'all have never had these all butter croissants, they are so good. And especially if you make chicken salad croissants with them. But I just wanted some croissants. We gotta go grocery shopping since we just came back from San Antonio. Gotta get some things that we were out of. We do need bananas too. We're gonna get some bananas. We just need some for fella and for, for the house. Some bananas. Gonna grab some onions. Also need to grab some sweet potatoes for fella and um, regular potatoes. And I don't wanna get a big bag because they'll go bad. One, two, three. All right, we got our potatoes. All right. We do need beef. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We need beef for the chili. I might not even put that on there. Y'all, beef is so expensive. We're gonna get the extra lean ground beef. We're just gonna get this one, but that's $7.92. And this one is 15, like what? This is so expensive, but um, I got some extra lean ground beef for chili tonight. We are gonna be making chili and jalapeno cheddar cornbread. Sounds so good. All right, I got some jalapeno slices. Yeah, they have the pink sauce at Walmart. And I'm gonna grab a tomato paste. I might have some at home, but we're gonna go ahead and grab it. And then I'm gonna grab two tomato sauce, actually one, or this one. This tomato sauce, this paste, and then we need beans. Kiki's with me, y'all. She's out of school today. We went and got her second root canal done today. She actually is in no pain. Did you find it? Oh, they're right here. That's black eye peas. We couldn't find the beans for a minute, y'all. We just found them. Yeah, this would be it. Beans, Tiffany. All right, we found the beans, y'all. So we're getting pinto beans and uh, light kidney beans. These. All right, so the beans are only 82 cents. So I'll just get, uh, yeah, here's some, I'm gonna grab red beans too, cause I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna get a bag of fried onions. All right, we have to grab some canned pumpkin. Yeah, just get this brand. Get two. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get some cane sugar. All right, we just needed some sugar before we make tea and stuff. Yeah, because we can make some sweet tea. All right, we gotta go get some trash bags. Right over here. All right, I gotta grab some trash bags. All right, we're at the cheese. We need to get some mild cheddar. You want mild cheddar? I'm gonna get this one. All right, guys, I'm gonna get some juice, cran mango. We gotta grab us some water. What did you say? All right, that's done, y'all. All right, we gotta grab some cream cheese. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this two pack. And, all right, we gotta get um, some eggs. Here we go. Get some eggs. We're gonna get this big bag of cheese because this other one's not gonna be enough because I gotta make a lot of stuff with cheese. So I'm gonna put this one back. Kiki wanted some pickles, the Grillo's. Those are very crunchy, crunchy pickles. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna make this cheese ball and you need like the cheap meat and these are only 80 cents. So we're gonna do turkey and I guess two tur- oh, honey roasted turkey. So we'll do those. I'm gonna get one more of the honey roasted tur- uh. One more. Of just turkey. So this. All right, y'all, we're thinking about making chili cheese fries or the option to make them or tater tots or they got waffle. Which one do you want, honey? Crinkle or bless you. 
I'm gonna decide, or should I just get a regular, like, regular crinkle cut? Two pounds. All right, we're just gonna buy a regular crinkle cut. Just the option to make chili cheese fries if she wants that, or if cash ends up coming over, which I don't know. We're gonna grab some of these chicken breast tenders just to have, so we have french fries and chicken. We just got some Milo sweet tea. Are right, we gonna get some chocolate chip cookie dough? Just some of the regular. So we make some cookies. Oh, I also have um, marshmallows at the house. All right, we just got a couple more things to go, but I think this is it for like the uh, grocery part. All right, y'all, we gotta get cat food first over here. And I'm gonna show you the ones that my cats like. It's cheaper, but they love it, y'all. And if you switch it up, they don't like it. Is that it? Meow mix, this one. Seafood mix, oh, we need some hairball control. We'll get the tender. They like, we're gonna get this one. Actually, I think it's special kitty. Kai, I think this one's it. I think it's special kitty. I'm gonna get them special kitty. I think that one's it. All right, we have to get Fella his last thing for flea, but like before it gets cold. So we gotta grab some of this. Oh, it says five minutes. All right, I'm gonna look and then be back. All right, I'm gonna get this cause that looks like Fella almost. <laughs> so we're gonna get him these. I found this y'all. It's a small, it might be too small, honey. He's usually a medium, let's see. Oh no, it says 10 to 20 pounds. A shit zoo? Yeah, like that and a, um, but it say a cat too. All right, we're at the candles now, which is one of my favorite parts. I got the backyard bonfire and a cinnamon because cinnamon is just classic. So I got cinnamon. And I think that's just what I'm gonna go with, those two. If they had a vanilla, do you see a vanilla, Kaya? What is that? That's a bonfire. I'm trying to get this brand like this. The vanillas are gone. What is this? Cozy Comfort? I might get one of these. I know these smell good. These smell good. The last couple things I got was medicine. I didn't film that. And who remembers these? Kai's had a little cough. And who are these taste like candy? Hey y'all, so on this part of the video, we're gonna be doing a cook with me. We're gonna make chili and jalapeno cheddar cornbread. So we're gonna be using the items that we got from the Walmart shop with me. So I'm just gonna add both of these videos together. So today is actually November 1st and it is cold. We actually have a freeze warning. It was like in the 30s this morning and now right exactly now it's about in the 50s but it's going down. So I'm actually gonna start a fire also, like our first fire of the season, November 1st. So exciting, y'all. I love this type of weather. But we're gonna start some chili. It's just Kaya and I here. We're gonna make a little pot of chili and then some cornbread. And I, want, I did get the stuff to make a cheese ball. I don't think I'm gonna make it today. I do have a, the cream cheese out just in case I decide, but I don't think I am. I don't know and I also might make like a baked potato put chili over it and then the cheese I don't know or we're just gonna have chili and cornbread who knows it might change throughout but since I didn't get to do an intro hope everyone is doing well today and you're happy and you're healthy and things are going good for you um I'm excited to be back because I have been gone for a little bit there. I did Cayman's BMT graduation, so I now have an airman. If you have not watched that video, y'all go check that out when we went to San Antonio and Cayman graduated from BMT, which is the Air Force Basic Training Program. And so he has graduated and he's actually still on that base. Um, he's actually going for special warfare. So he's in very very intense training and in tech school, whatever it's called that they're into course. But um, he, so he's still there. He'll at least be there for the next two months. And what it looks like right now is he will be able to come home for Christmas. So I'm excited for that. We'll definitely do something for Christmas. But anyway, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I'm glad to be back filming again, just at home cooking. And I cannot wait to go to Dollar Tree. I did get a couple items from the Dollar Tree in San Antonio, but I flew there. So I was not able to like truly go shopping, but I did grab like a couple items. 
Um, I'll have to share them with you on my Dollar Tree once I get out and go to the Dollar Tree. I do have a Dollar Tree empties video, so y'all stay tuned for that. And again, happy November. It is November 1st. Can y'all believe Christmas is literally around the corner? Thanksgiving is literally weeks away. Like, can y'all believe it? And the weather is like in the 30s, but it's going to be shooting back up to the 70s, I think, by the end of the weekend. So... Anyway, we're going to jump in. We're going to cook. I might just put the camera up and just randomly film different parts. Chili's very simple, so this is not going to be like a detailed video. Chili is very simple. Um, but I'm glad to be back with you guys. Again, hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't yet, I hope you stay subscribed, become part of the family. Also, check me out over on Instagram and TikTok at ThriftyTiffany35. I definitely posted a lot of pictures over there from San Antonio on my Instagram. So, y'all go check it out. Go check out my airman. And, um... Here we go, we're gonna get started. First things first, I'm gonna take the lid off and then start the oven on, what does this say for the cornbread? It actually got the honey jiffy cornbread and then we're gonna add jalapenos and cheese. Um, 400. All right, we're gonna just get that warming up. And for our chili, I just got lean ground beef and this is so expensive at the store y'all and i got my different beans whatever beans you like i'm not using all of these i'll pick them in a minute but i got red beans as you've seen in the video pinto beans and light red kidney beans so and then tomato sauce just a big jar this is probably too much honestly i should have got the smaller one and tomato paste and then of course i got an onion and garlic and we're gonna have some seasonings um salt pepper and then i got seasonings up here like onion powder we got onion powder we got garlic powder of course those are like a go-to y'all oh and i need to get the chili packet so i have this from i've had it probably from the last time i made chili oh no it's not a full, it's all right it says seasons two pack oh that's why i used half because it says seasons two pound and last time I made one pound. So this is the other pound. So this is the little chili kit that's really good. I probably have another brand of chili seasoning, whatever kind of chili powder you want. But also you can add your own seasonings. I'll probably add some parsley in there and who knows, but we'll get to that. This does have a lot of flavoring though. This has a lot of different seasonings in it itself. It says it all right there. But, um, all right, we're going to get started. First things first, though, we're going to cut up the onion and garlic. Also, y'all, I made some white rice earlier today for with my lunch. And I love the steamer, by the way. But you can also do a bowl of white rice, spread chili on it with some cheese. It's so good. You can use anything at the bottom of your chili. You can use pasta. You can use white rice. You can use a baked potato, whatever you want. Or you can just do chili with cornbread. Which we, or you could do chili cheese fries, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this onion. You guys can see me. While I'm chopping up this onion, we're going to talk about San Diego. Uh, I keep saying San Diego. San Antonio. So, San Antonio is a beautiful city. But the highways, y'all, are so big. They're so intimidating. But it's actually easy. It wasn't too busy. I would say Atlanta had more traffic. But they did have traffic. And... They have like so many roads that look like, you know how Atlanta has Spaghetti Junction? If you've ever been to Atlanta, you've heard of Spaghetti Junction. It's like all the roads are like that. And a lot of their roads are one way. So you got to do these loops every time to like get around. So that's confused. Like you got to learn that. I rented a car, which if you are going to a bmt graduation if you're going to lackland definitely rent a car you can't really you can but you can't really uber a lot around san antonio the best bet is to rent a car especially when you're going on base because the uber cannot go on base but um yes so that was getting used that that took a little bit to get used to as far as the roads um but it's, it's, it was pretty calm. Like, everything was calm. The only thing is it rained the entire time we were there, y'all. It rained. And later, I found out, like, it was from it was from some type of weather system. I don't know if it was a hurricane, a tornado, or something from that. We were getting the back end of it. 
but it rained the whole time and it, it was it still rained like the day we were leaving but it was pretty in the sky when we left that was a lot of rain all right we got our onion and i'm gonna go ahead move you this way a little bit to our pot and we're gonna put some avocado oil if you got olive oil that's fine too put you some oil in your pot a good amount i'm gonna put turn it on put our onion in there and if you want to add peppers red peppers green peppers like all of that you can i love peppers we don't have any right now and i didn't get them at the store i just want it to be like a basic basic chili so i'm just using onions and of course garlic all right now for the garlic i'll use i'll do a couple cloves i want it to taste good do a couple big cloves i'll do about three oops about three big cloves medium sized cloves I cannot believe it's, I'm so excited it's cold like this because I cannot wait to use my fireplace and we are going to start it in a little bit because I am just so excited to use it. And usually it gets colder before this time of year. It's been hot. So I'm excited that it's time. Yesterday we had, uh, Kaya got her second root canal done. So we're done with the root canal. We just now just have to do the build up and the crowns for those two teeth. But the root canal was done pain free y'all. She got through it just fine. It was amazing doctor, a uh, dentist and um, no pain, no pain, no pain in the chair, no pain when she got home, no swelling, no anything. You always hear like the horror stories of them, but she had such a good experience. And they were done so quick. It wasn't, we were probably there about an hour each, maybe 45 minutes. The office, the staff was not, everything was just flawless. So it felt good to get the root canals done. Now just the buildup and the crown. When we were buying this chili stuff in Walmart, y'all, another lady was shopping for beans too. She was like, are y'all making chili tonight? And we were like, yes, we are. <laughs> Everybody gets the same idea when it's cold. Don't ever think you're like, it's a singular experience. Like everybody has the same idea you have. <laughs> it's so funny. Probably have this up too high. And then once we get these cooked a little bit, we're gonna add the ground beef and the seasoning. That is sauteing. We're gonna go ahead and add this ground beef. And again, it's the extra lean. You can get whatever kind you can find. I need to get my meat chopper. I got my chopper. I'll use this again in a minute. So if it's getting cold where you're at, what are y'all cooking? Are y'all making soups or chicken pot pie? Ooh, chicken pot pie sounds good, y'all. The chili's just like a go-to for right when it starts getting cold. <laughs> I'm gonna actually add the chili packet while it's still kind of raw, just to get that flavor in that meat really good. Use the rest of the pack. I love the smell. I'm actually not a huge chili person now. I like chili cheese fries, but I, I don't really just sit and eat a whole bowl of chili. Like I have to have something with it, either cornbread, something with it. I'm not a big red sauce fan. I'm more of a creamy white sauce fan, but um, yeah, but I still, I will eat it. And I have all these beans, but I think I'm gonna just use the red beans and so I know kidney beans are supposed to go in chili, but the red beans are good too. Sometimes the skin on the kidney beans just throw me off a little bit. But those will be in the pantry for if I make it again, which I will at some point. Let's go ahead and add some garlic powder, even though we added garlic. Onion powder even though we added onions. Just 
get it in there. And of course, some salt and pepper. And you do have to add like a little bit of sugar for the acidity of the tomato sauce, but we'll do that in a little bit once we add the tomato sauce in. Oh, it smells so good. Let me show y'all. This is what it's looking like, and I love this meat chopper. It minces the meat really, really well. I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit. It doesn't say I need the tomato paste. So this thing um, says tomato sauce. Let me see if I have an eight ounce. I don't, so I'm just gonna have to use half of this. Um, and it says two cups of water, okay? Because all the seasoning was in the packet. Ooh, that's bright red, y'all. Let me see what it looks like with like half a can. I'm gonna take this sweatshirt off and wear my just t-shirt. All right, let me take the sweatshirt off. Also gonna add just a tad bit of this sugar. This is just organic cane sugar, just a little bit for the acidity of the tomato sauce. You don't want it sweet, but you don't, but you wanna cut it, cut the acidity. Let's open the red beans. Let me drain them. Okay, we're gonna add the red beans. I drain them. Let me replace this back with the spoon. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna add some water. You can add beef broth, chicken broth, whatever. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this because I need to taste it. If I want to add a beef broth cube into it, I will. But I'm just gonna do plain water first. I said two cups. That's about. We're just gonna let this simmer for a while. And then we're gonna get started on the cornbread. So in a little while, I'll taste it and see if I need to add a beef cube or if it's really good seasoned. And then if I need to add more of this tomato sauce, I will. And I open this for no reason, the paste, cause I didn't need it. We're gonna start on cornbread. I'm chopping up the jalapenos. I'm just dicing them. I just got any type of jalapeno, pickled jalapeno slices, or you can use fresh. Get you a little mix container. I'm just using the Jiffy Honey. You can use Jiffy Regular. It's just very quick and simple for a week night. We got our cornbread. Just go by the package instructions where it says one egg. All right, now always, always put the egg in the box. And then it says one third cup of milk. I get this milk from Dollar Tree. It's pantry stable until you use it. it. Comes sealed. And then we need one third cup. So let me get a measuring cup. One third. One third cup of milk, quick and easy. Then this goes in the refrigerator. Then we need Need a spatula. Then we're gonna add some just mild cheddar cheese, whatever kind of cheese you like. This is the finely shredded. So we're gonna put a good bit in it to make it cheesy honey cornbread. And then we're gonna have some for our to top our chili. Now we're gonna chop up the jalapenos a little bit more, dice them, cut them pretty small so they go all throughout the cornbread. All right. So I should probably use a whisk. So I think I'll be all right. This is what it looks like. Now we're gonna mix it. Mix it up. And then I just got a cake pan. I'm gonna butter it and just pour that in. I always just do it in a little cake pan. Or you could do an iron skillet. I have my room temperature butter. And I know this might be crazy to some, but I do use my hands to spread it around in the pan. Again, you're gonna bake it off, so it'll be all right. You're not contaminating anybody. It might be too much. I just go around the edges. I grew up with butter and pans like this. Cake pans, cornbread pans. Make the little edges of the cornbread crispy. All right, she's buttered. Let's check the chili real quick. 
Turn it down some. It just needs to be simmering at this point. All right, let's put the lid back on. Oh, I wanna show y'all my new cat feeder that I got when we were gone for those couple of days to San Antonio. I had to get like a feeder that I could feed from my phone through Wi-Fi. Let me show you. So this is the cat feeder right there. And it automatically puts out food from your phone. Like you can push how many feeds you want it to feed. You can set the time for when it would go off. That's what I did when I went out of town. It's from Amazon and it was like 29 or 39. And she's waiting on it to come out. I just pushed it, so now it's coming out. I pushed, there it goes. And she, they know the sound of it, but it's called um, Smart Feeder, Smart Pet Feeder. But here comes the other one too. Once they hear that noise, here's Ella. They know the food's there. So when we were gone, they were able to eat twice. I just left a water bowl for them. I left two big water bowls for them. That's just their water bowl while we're here. But this thing is nice. All right, now we're just gonna pour the cornbread in the container. Clean it all the way up. All right, there we go, we'll pop it in the oven. It's still cooking. And I just want to show y'all some of the toppings we have for the chili. We have parsley, sour cream, cheddar cheese, fried onions, french fried onions, jalapenos. It's looking good, y'all. Bubbling. Why are y'all hissing at each other? It's feeding time, so they're hissing, y'all. Look at the chili. Yes, ma'am. Just pulled the cornbread out, and this is how I put the butter on it. Got a nice little crispy crust, which I love because I'm gonna coat chili on it in the bowl. Ooh, it looks so good. And I did taste the chili, it's really good, but I did add some more seasoning. And I told you guys once I added the water, I would let you know if I needed to add broth or a bouillon cube, and I did. I added this beef broth seasoning base. You can add a little cube or whatever you want, so it's chicken broth instead of just plain water. Um, also, when I was growing up, my mom used to add like a little bit of ketchup because, you know, ketchup has like a little sugar in it. So it, I added just like a little squirt in there, like little, and then a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, but um, we're going to let it cook some more. That's what you see right there, the seasoning. So now I'm going to mix it up and then just let it simmer for a while. Now that the cornbread's done, you can turn that off, but the cornbread's done. Still have this rice here. And then now we're just waiting on the chili. We're going to let it just simmer and get all the seasonings in it the chili is done y'all and it tastes so good i just let it simmer for a while it's literally on like really low all the way to the lowest setting so good i text cash that i made chili and cornbread so he's gonna come by when he gets off there's the cornbread everything is done well i also cut up some onions this is where i set the spoon y'all right here but I cut up some onions and green onions just to add to the top. So we can add whatever we need to add. But the chili is done. It tastes so good. Y'all see my little trying spoons? But it tastes so good. Everything is done. Even got my bowl right here waiting on me. Um, we'll eat in a little bit. And these are going to be so good. Anybody else snack on these like chips? I love French fried onions. They're so good. I love just snacking on these, y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. but i'll be back to show you my bowl oh and it's 702 now i've been cooking for a while i've been cooking for an hour or two this is still on like really really low i might just go ahead and turn it off it's just stay warm cash gets off at 10 but kai and i are gonna go ahead and eat i need to cut the cornbread and from a knife I always just cut the cornbread in like little pie slices, but it's got the cheese, the jalapeno. Y'all. Mm. Y'all. Mm. Y'all, it's so good. Mm. So good. Look, thinks he's getting some. He already ate. Literally just so good. Mm-mm-mm. 
Love cornbread, y'all. I wish Cayman was here to get some. Y'all, my white rice is so good too. I love some white rice. I just cook it with avocado oil and some salt. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. I'm about to fix my bowl. So I have a bowl here. And then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna add some rice to the, end of my, to the bottom of my bowl. Just a little bit. And then we're gonna add the chili, just a little bit. And then we have the chili. Still hot. Not too much. I think that's about it. Ooh, I made a mess right there. Okay. Add some onions. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna add some sour cream. We have our chili rice onions, a dollop of sour cream, some parsley. Ooh, I can't wait to show y'all. I'm gonna flip the camera. Some cheese and some French onions. Some cheese. Not too much. French onions, set this down right here. Add a couple of these. Okay. I actually might add a jalapeno. Let's see. There's a scary movie on the TV if y'all hear that. Add a couple of them. And I have some green onions. I'm gonna cut. And I'm also gonna cut me a bit of cornbread. Let's see if I can move my jalapenos around. I can't wait to flip this so you can see. Now I'm gonna get some cornbread. on the side like that. I'm gonna flip it so you can see. This is what it looks like. We got our chili on top of rice with onions, French onions, jalapenos, cheddar jalapeno cornbread, sour cream. This looks so good. I cannot wait to eat it.